On Track This Week looks at a local discovery to help in the shipping industry. Then we visit a new kind of bazaar in Putrajaya. Finally, the success story of a local jeweler. Stay tuned with me, Shazdin Shamsuddin, for what's on track for you. progressed tremendously over the years. Locally as well, we have implemented new technology to help enhance our shipping service level. Today, let us take a look at one such innovation that is making waves in the cargo industry. The shipping industry is very investment laden. When cargo is shipped in and out of the country, the center incurs a lot of expenses. If the cargo is in any way spoiled, the person would have to bear a very heavy loss. One of the factors that have for a long time been a stumbling block for cargo transportation via ships is the chance of the products being spoiled. One main reason for this to happen is due to the change in temperature. The temperature in a container can rise more than 60 degrees Celsius at daytime and drop to 15 degrees Celsius at night. Because of that, during the delivery by ship at daytime, the air and the products vaporize. Then at night, they will condense in the container because of the cold. If this happens for weeks, all products inside the container will be damaged. The results could be crack and fungus in wooden products, less powerful effect in medicines, fungi in leather and garment products, wrinkle and spots in paper products, and rust in electronic products. For agriculture products such as coffee and rice, the effect will be detrimental, thereby causing the exporters to suffer large financial losses. <laughs> 